Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to this Let's Play of Rome Total War. So, if I haven't mentioned already, this is on very hard difficulty, which is why my progress has been so slow. Uh, right now, anyway. So, last time, guys, if you remember, we had just secured the border against the Gauls over here. This army here was actually really, really hard to fight, and they actually ran away. Which was good. The Brutii have taken Apollonia and they're heading towards Thermion, which is really great to see. It's good to see them expanding. And the Scipii have taken Lilybaeum, so they too are expanding, which is great news. But pretty much all three Roman factions have expanded just a little bit at about the same level, so we're, we're pretty much all on par at the minute. Yeah, I was given a mission to take this settlement here. But I suspect the Gauls have now taken it, which means uh, the Senate actually cancelled my mission for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but that's that's up to them, basically. Uh, at the minute, though, I'd rather take settlements that are bordered to me. And, well, to be honest, that one is. But at the minute, they have given me a mission, so if I can just work this out, I need to build some ships. So I'm going to spend a few turns building some ships. I am a little short on funds at the minute, but I ended the last turn just before, um, well I finished the video before we finished the last turn, so I'm going to end the turn here and see how the Gauls respond to me uh, kicking them uh, out of Patavium. Okay, so a little bit of naval movement there, and the Skippy I are moving up. Hopefully to get some map information, although that seems to be falling primarily to myself. Okay. Okay, good stuff. The Gauls haven't really tried to attack me or anything, which is good. So, this army here, I can probably finish off with an auto-resolve. Let's see what we can do here. Great stuff. Okay, so, yeah, they're running away, which means I'm more than likely going to win, so I don't really need to worry too much about them. However, I do want to finish them off once and for all. And, yeah, we won. Good stuff. Uh, I was expecting that. So this settlement here is not Roman, so I, um, I'm going to leave that. It's not Gallic or anything like that. This one here is... But I happen to know that's a very small town and doesn't pose a lot of threat because they can't build a lot of units. So I'm pretty happy with the way things are at the minute. Uh, I do have three turns to blockade Carthage, so I might start moving south here. Because I actually do want to complete that Senate mission and construction report. So this settlement has just upgraded, so let's see what we can build in this settlement. So I do want to start Romanizing as quickly as possible. It will basically just help the population be more loyal to me than obviously the, uh, the Gauls. So I'm going to go ahead and build a militia barracks here, I think. Um, am I? Yeah, I think I will, yeah. Good, yeah. And that will just help to Romanize them a little bit. This town here, I'm going to build roads. I didn't actually realize I wasn't building anything there. This one can't build anything yet. And these two, I don't have enough money. Huh. Well, that, that's actually a problem. Um, I do need more money, which means we're going to have to start taking more territory here. So, I think I'm going to push and take this. No, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not too sure. Um, let's move over actually and talk to the Germans and ask them for. Let's see, let's see if we can ask them for. Let's cancel that deal. Um, I will address them at once. Strength. Okay, so I want to offer trade rights and I would like map information. What do you consider? Uh, yes, I would consider oh, that and I'll take it. Uh, I am running a little low money, but I do want to find out a little more about the world, and it looks like the Germans have quite a big sphere of influence now. Good stuff. These two settlements here, I suspect, are Gallic. Uh, this one here. It says, like, recently it says it, that it's rebel, but I don't think it is. I think it's Gallic. Uh, I think all these settlements here are Gallic as well, but I can't be too sure about that. 
but I do need to take all the garlic settlements I can. Uh, I don't want to um, be bordered with Macedon and Greece because I fear they will attack me and I can't fight a battle on too many fronts at the minute. So I'm just going to have to hope that the Bruti I take that settlement and I'm going to have to move this army up here um, and hopefully try and push down and take another settlement here. But let's have a look at anything that's left. So this town has grown. Great stuff. So we're going to get rid of that. Um, and if we can just look on the construction tab here. I don't actually have enough money this turn to build the governor's palace, so I might as well just stick with the roads. And we'll end the turn here uh, with the hope that we'll have enough gold next turn. I just touched the mic there. I hope that didn't make too much noise. Uh, there is a settlement to the north. The Skippy, I have discovered the Gauls do actually have a settlement to the north, which I do want to take. Ah, okay, I'm going to have to auto-resolve. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to fail the, miss the mission to blockade Carthage. Unfortunately, there's not really much I can do about that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move this army. I'm going to start moving them north a little bit. And, uh, yeah, the plan is to basically take this settlement here within the next two turns at least. And uh, pretty much everything here is okay. Although I could keep this main army in Rome, and I could move these smaller unit cards up. Could do that, couldn't I, really? But for now, actually, I need to uh, upgrade this settlement. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. And is there anything here I can build? Uh, let's see what we can do here. Ceres, uh, let's see, let's see. I hate wasting turns when I could be building something. But I may not be able to build anything right now. Uh, we'll go for a shrine to Jupiter in both settlements. Uh, that'll probably be the best way to go at the minute. And I'm starting to lose money as well, which isn't really ideal. So, nothing more I can do at the minute. Let's have a look and see what else is left to do here. Ceasefire and effect between Britannia and Germany. Okay, good stuff. Well, I think we'll end the turn here and see what the... Okay, Skippy Eye pushing eastward. That's actually really good to see. Oh, I really should check on the Bruti Eye as well. See what they're up to. Because I know that they were laying siege to a Greek settlement. I'd like to see how that's going. Oh, they've taken it. They've taken Thermon. Excellent news. Excellent. It's good to see the other Roman factions doing so well. Uh, I know it'll be difficult late game, but for, you know, it's uh, for now it's it's good. Is this settlement? It says that it's rebel, but I can see the border there is brown, which suggests it's station. Um, so, yeah, just a little bit of outdated map information. That's all. And yeah, the settlement is held by the Gauls. I'll probably have to lay siege to them, which I I'm totally okay with doing. I've got no problem with that. Uh, we, uh, we have a little bit more money now as well, so yeah, I'm going to fail that Senate mission, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Uh, let's see, Senate officers gained, okay. Town grows, let's have a look here. Oh yeah, we already, we already knew about that. So, I think we're going to have to concentrate a little bit on economy here. Um, if there's anything I can build, I would like to. So let's see what we can build here. Uh, shipwright will increase trade income and allow me to build better ships. So I'm going to go with that. Um, I know I could probably build more, like better military units, but I can't really at the minute. Also, I am going to put taxes up to normal just because we can't really afford the low tax rate. Uh, it's not really working out too well. Are they? Okay, they. I'm going to have to keep that as it is. Um, what about these guys? Up to normal? Nice. Okay, that's really good, actually. That's very good. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty damn good. Yeah. Cool. So, we're going to end the turn here. And next time, I'm hoping to take this settlement of Euvium. E whatever you'd call that. I'm not really sure what you'd call that. After I check on this. So, uh, he's an idle merchant. He can just remain where he is for now. And we'll end the turn.
Yeah, so that sound was me failing the Senate mission. I'm not really too concerned about that. Um, the Senate don't really hate on you too much, so you don't re really need to worry. The only reason the Senate hate on you is if you get too big, and that's when the Civil War all kicks off. So, the Gauls have started amassing troops here. Can't allow that. Might have to lay siege to them. Uh, and uh, it's going to take five turns. I'm going to build a battering ram just in case I want to, you know, attack early. But I think uh, I'm not really sure if it's if in this game the units deplete over time when they're under siege. I'm not really sure if that's true or not. If I'm just making that up in my head. Uh, let's see what we can build here. I'm gonna build, ah, there we are, that's really good. So that settlement's up, upgrading as well, which is great to see. I'm going to have to put taxes up here. This is, I just don't have enough money. The empire just does not have the money to, um, to have low taxes across the empire, which is a shame because it's normally what I do. I normally like to have my taxes set to low, but never mind. Um, so an active diplomat, an active diplomat. I normally think that in the long run having taxes low is a good thing because it increases your population which over time increases the taxable income except because of the difficulty level I really am having to um, maintain a big army okay so I'm going to have to reinforce the settlement which means taking some more people out of here I think we'll be okay with that. Yeah, it should be fine. Uh, one of them I'm going to put here. Uh, I'm going to move him into the battle zone just in case anything happens. And this settlement now has four turns. I'm going to hold off as long as I can before I take that settlement. I want to see what they do. And uh, there doesn't really seem to be much else I can do what they want me to do. Blockade Massalia. Okay, I could probably get away with that actually. Uh, so we'll build a ship unit. And we could probably just blockade that without too much trouble. Let's see what other notifications I've missed here. Inactive Diplomat. Okay. I actually do want to start now pushing towards the Dacians. So we'll go ahead and talk to them. And we have an inactive merchant here. So I'll just move him up there. Why not? And that will pretty much do for, for now. Let's have a look at the other factions. The Scipii. Well, they're holding out. They're holding out pretty well. Um, Brutii again. They're doing very well, actually. I'd like to see them push for this town, but maybe not right just now. But we'll see what happens. I hope I get this town very shortly, but for now we'll end the turn. And uh, yeah, if the Gauls don't attack me, it's probably the best thing that can happen at the minute. Uh, please don't. Yeah, okay, so they haven't attacked me. They're still laying siege to my settlement, though. Um, which really isn't ideal. And a few of the spies have been kicked out. So, is that plague or devastation or what? I'm not too sure. But, I'm going to support this army here. And we are going to attack this settlement and we're gonna get a clear victory out of that good stuff good stuff okay we can re-fortify this settlement now it seems to be patavium that seems to be getting the most of the attacks and here okay so they still haven't um yeah they still haven't surrendered Unfortunately, they don't actually lose units like I thought they did. So I may have to just attack this settlement. I'll oh, hold on, hold on. Maintain siege. I'm going to save it for. Okay, so actually, I'm not going to attack Patavium. What I'm going to do instead, actually, is I'm going to start uh, disbanding a few more units so I can get some more money for later in the game when I'm definitely going to need them. Nobody's going to take anyone from Caralassus, so I think we should be okay over there. Uh, I'm still holding out on this settlement, actually. They've got three turns left, and hopefully that'll be okay. But I think this settlement is um, having a plague at the minute, which isn't exactly ideal. 
they're not exactly loyal to me either, which I'm not too happy about, but there's not much I can do right now. What I am going to do though is I'm going to start uh, building another army with what little units I have left because I want to take the settlement here of Massalia. So let's just see what we can move out, what we can spare. Um, because I really do need to start taking settlements to get a lot more income. We really are struggling with income at the minute. I can't take anything out of there. So um, in this settlement, we have, a, we have quite a bit of gold left actually. So let's see if we can get some constructions here. Um, ah, yes, we can. Excellent. So in this settlement, I'm going to build a legion barracks. Am I? Maybe. Yes, I am. Yeah. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I need to focus on economy at the minute. Um, I'll build a forum. Yeah, that'll, that'll probably do. Uh, here I'll build a forum as well. And Patavium. Oh, actually, no. Yeah, in Patavium I'll build roads for the time being. And that's, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do this turn. I wanted to build some more... Oh, can this build anything? No, it can't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, so that, that'll pretty much do for this turn. Unless I can actually build any troops or anything. Which I don't think that... Oh, I can. Yeah, I can build a town watch. That is... Uh, Pretty much all I can afford at the minute, so I think we'll leave it there for this turn. I'm just gonna hit end turn and see what the computer does. Okay, so that diplomat's still moving over. Uh, Macedon, uh, I don't know, I think la uh, the Brutei, I think they're at war with Macedon now, I can't really remember. I'll have to check up on that. Um, sure. Yes, I've already met the Germans, so we're heading towards Dacian territory. Looks like the Skippy Eye is sending diplomats over that way. And, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, I just remembered I've got that Senate mission. Um, who are they? They're Gauls. Okay, so I'm going to move around the Gauls. I want to blockade this port here. Let's see what else we can do. Is there any other units we can spare, really? Uh, probably not. So I'm going to attack Massalia, and we're going to take the settlement here, hopefully. I mean, that's the plan, but I guess we'll just see what happens. So I have actually got a little bit of income here, which is great news. So let's see what we can do here. Um, Stoic philosophy, okay. I like these little tabs, it's just like, it's, you know... I do prefer the old system, though, like everything was piled up there. And you could actually just ignore stuff if you want to, whereas in this game you can't really ignore stuff. It does, like... It does tell you, like, hey, you know, you're missing stuff here that you need to be checking up on. So I actually won't build a forum there. I really want to start romanizing um, some of the region uh, because it will actually just increase loyalty to me over time. So I'll build a shipwright, you know, and we'll get rid of the garlic one. Uh, this still has two turns. How many turns? I have three turns left on my Senate mission. If the Gauls don't attack me, I should be able to take it without too much problem. Uh, let's see what we can build here. Do we have any any decent... Um... Oh, I need to retrain all these guys. Okay, okay. Yeah, didn't realise I hadn't done that. That's quite important, actually. And yeah, that'll pretty much do for that. So, yep, let's end the turn and let the computer take their moves. Um, oh! Okay, so that settlement next door is a rebel settlement now. I thought it was Dacian. I really did. But, it might not... Oh no, is it? Yes, it is Dacian. Yes, okay. So, once again, they're attacking Batavium. Might have to do something about that. Um, the, the thing about the Gauls is they have a lot of units. Okay, so we have one last turn before we take this settlement. They must think they can't win. Uh, since they haven't really tried to uh, defend against me. So we've got some units here. I'm going to move pretty much everything I can up to try and help Patavium, assuming they don't actually invade me. Um, we should be able to hold them off with just a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I shouldn't have done that. should not have done that. Okay, that's fine for now, though. So, still have another two turns to take Massalia. And settlement besieged. Okay. I am laying siege to their settlement. They're laying siege to mine. What's going to happen? Well, find out next time, guys. Uh,
because that's all the time we have for today. I think I'm not going to be able to take Massalia. Uh, I don't think we'll take Potavium, and I think next time I'll be able to take the settlement. But I uh, just want to thank you all for watching today. Like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Leave in the comments if you have any. Brutally eyes under siege there, and I will see you all next time.